Now, before you say, duh, it's Beyonce, hear me out. 2023 saw a lot of low ticket sales, last minute cancellations, and half food venues for many album tours. However, Beyonce's own was different and she delivered a spectacular and successful tour that captivated millions of fans around the world and grossed an estimated $579 million in revenue, making it one of the highest ever grossing tours, even one of her highest ever herself. Beyonce ran on this Renaissance tour from May to October of 2023 and it hit 39 cities in 17 countries. In this video, we will explore the psychology behind the success of the tour and how she used her music and personality to create a unique, one of the most unique and immersive experiences ever. So much so that you could not turn around on social media and not see someone doing it. Get ready with me to go to the Beyonce tour video. Before we get into it, don't forget to press like and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos on marketing, psychology, launching, mini documentaries and business strategy. The concept of the Renaissance World Tour was not only a creative and artistic expression of Fiance's vision, but it was also a strategic and psychological move to attract and engage her fans. Here's what I mean. The tour was inspired by the Renaissance period, which was a time of rebirth, innovation and creativity in Europe from the 14th to the 17th century. As a result, Beyoncé wanted to reflect this spirit of transformation and diversity in her music and stage design. That's why the tour was divided into different acts, each representing a different stage of Beyoncé's life and career, as well as different aspects of the Renaissance team. The acts included the opening act, then we had the Renaissance act, the motherboard act, and then the opulence act. By structuring the tour into acts and songs that followed a chronological order and thematic order, Beyoncé created a coherent and cohesive story that kept her fans engaged and interested, not only to go to the show, but also engaged to stay throughout. And in psychology, this is called transduction. Transduction is the process of transforming one form of energy into another. In context of the Renaissance World Tour, Transduction can be seen as the transformation of the energy of the Renaissance period that was a long time ago, which was the period of rebirth, innovation, and creativity into a modern one in 2023, a more dynamic one, a more modern one that resonates with where people are in 2023. And why that work is, the year 2023 was indeed a challenging one. People were going through it. There was economic downturn that affected so many people's lives. So in such times, people often seek, you know, solace and inspiration in art and music. And Beyonce did a great job. It felt like she understood it and she designed the tour in a way that it was like art and music mixed together and then it mirrored the Renaissance period. People felt like, you know, they were going for a rebirth. And not only that, it also provided something that we all human beings yearn for. According to the book Contagious by Jonna Berger, social currency is one of the six principles of contagiousness that explains why people share certain things more than others. Social currency is the idea that people share things that make them look good to others, such as being smart, being cool, being rich, or being in the know-how. Now, if you saw the pricing for the Renaissance store, you know that it was anything but cheap. And even though people complained about the pricing, they were making skits on social media, they were complaining about it, there was some outrage on the other hand, they still bought it in droves and made it sell out. And not only that, they also created content such as Get Ready With Me to go to the tour. Why? because they wanted to gain social currency by showing up their access to this rare and exclusive experience, which in turn made the tour successful. Because as these videos were being splattered all over social media, it was free promo for Beyonce. And others wanted to cash in also on the social currency. They were like, oh, I want to go too. I want to go too. A social currency that I believe that Beyonce will always, always offer because of this. Now, it would be remiss of me to finish this piece and not include this. In psychology, there's a term called unconditional positive regard. 
What this means is that it refers to a broad acceptance and support of an individual, irrespective of what the individual says or does. One of the key factors that contributed to the success of the launch of Beyonce's Renaissance store is people's unconditional positive regard for her. People love Beyonce. This is one of her main selling factors. Likeability is extremely important because it can influence how people perceive you, how they treat you, or how they cooperate with you. And research has shown that being likable can increase your chances of happiness and success and well-being. Likeable people tend to get more opportunities, more trust and respect from others. Now, this is not to say that Beyonce doesn't work hard. We all know that Beyonce works really, really hard. Her work ethic is unmatched but people also like, us, like her as well. And this is the third psychological trigger that made sure that the tour was successful. So in conclusion, different psychological phenomena blended together to make the Renaissance one of the most successful tours ever. Like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this video.